Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill, and yes, we are walking again. <laughs> what the, what it's, the, it's cooler, it's 98 today, it's fantastic out. Yeah. <laughs> so to, today what we're talking about is property taxes. I know we just did a video not that long ago about property taxes, but I just got my bill. I know. And it was ridiculous, okay? And I didn't think that, I'm homesteaded here in Florida, I didn't think that my taxes would go up that much, but there must be a special way that they're freaking figuring it out. There's always a way, it seems like. And then my other, then my other properties, okay, those aren't homesteaded, they killed me on those. What, yeah. one of them, I put a dock on it. Right, <laughs> and now you like, improved it. They approved it just for that. They, they, they so charged they did me. A reassess. They recessed an extra thousand dollars a year just for right. the. Because the value of the land went up, right? I would assume. Yeah. On your thing, so the value of the land because because you did the improvement with the dock, then they just kind of took the whole package and increased it, right? Is that kind of how the the listing went? Yeah, but yeah. It, it was ridiculous. So <sighs> let's talk about a little bit in Florida. What's going on? Okay, so right now is. They're building like crazy in Florida. It's okay? insane. Yep. Now, when they when you build a house in Florida, like I'm building in Hudson, you get an impact fee. My impact fee is like thirty-five grand or something. Right. And some of them are like fifty, sixty grand. So, this thing with the with the taxes, you know, going up when they're getting all the fees from the impact fees, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like. Why? They're making so much money with all the new constructions. Why? I know. I, I don't know. I, it's 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 mind-boggling that there's new construction and they, they've somehow found land in Pinellas County to squeeze on some new houses. Mm -hmm. There's obviously ridiculous growth in Pasco, Hillsborough counties. So, you know, particularly in Pasco, it's just growing leaps and bounds businesses are coming in infrastructure huge businesses huge corporations right you know with thousands upon thousands of employees and and that's pretty much happening all across florida yeah it's, it's everywhere so which will get us on another subject but why the market is the way it is here in florida but you know with all those impact fees even if they're getting a discount you know to for the builders, to help the builders, which I don't think they're getting a huge discount. No, they're not. You know, that's some of the gripes that I've been hearing to help stimulate things. But all that extra money's coming into the county. Yes, I know that if we add, logically, right? We add people, we need infrastructure, we need police, we need fire, we need all that stuff. We need new sewers, we need new, you know, everything's gotta go along with that growth. But a lot of that is added on as part of the builders development process and then they're paying the impact fees on this and you know if you're paying forty five hundred dollars for one piece of land think about that uh, the community that's going in behind my neighborhood on 39 acres they're putting in 740 homes yeah that makes sense so so if I'm like think about that money if I'm paying forty five hundred for land just because it's on the water I guess they're killing it but here's the thing that really annoys me about this whole situation I understand property taxes okay and I understand, you know, that, you know, things have to be, things have to be paid, okay? Uh -huh. Police, fire department, right. all that stuff. I, and I understand all that. But when everybody's struggling right now with, I believe we're in a recession, inflation, mm -hmm. you know, everybody losing their jobs, everything, homeowners insurance. Through the roof. Through the roof, you know. Car insurance, if you get it through the roof. So what is what does the county do? So they do the largest increase in taxes in what, 20 plus years? 30? They're like, hey, let's increase everybody's taxes. You know? That's smart. It's like the stupidest freaking thing I could even think of. I know. And I'm and I'm really, really annoyed about it because I'm a big believer. I'm a believer in paying property taxes, okay? Before yep. everybody goes nuts on me. Up to a point. Once property taxes surpass a certain amount, mm -hmm. it's it's like you're renting the house. Right. We've had a video about that. We've talked we, about that. We we did. I just think that once it becomes unreasonably expensive, 
Because don't forget, if you don't pay your taxes, you yeah, lose the you house. You lose the house. And I think that the way things are going, people are going to be selling their houses just because of car insurance. I mean, no, yeah. Okay, they'll throw in car insurance, house insurance, and property taxes. Mm -hmm. $2,000 a month, $1,500 a month. Look, just for those things? Look at my neighbor. And, and yeah, the other one. You right. Know, he's paying $25,000 without his $5,000 a month uh, mortgage payment. Right. So, you know, the young generation, you know, when they want to buy houses and stuff, I I mean, before, before we went on camera, you know, you said something, and I kind of agree with you, and we're going to talk about that too. In the meantime, do me a favor. If you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and it's greatly appreciated. All right, this is what Bill was talking about. Uh, yeah, remind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was ranting in the car. So they're doing it on purpose, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, Bill, and I agree with him, that some counties, some cities are increasing the taxes on purpose, okay? And one of them is to become a nation of renters. Right. So what we were talking about is, I said, it's you feel like they're doing this on purpose because it couldn't have been at a worse time, right? You, why did we pick now, when everything is epically high, mm -hmm. to decide to increase property taxes the way they were done? Right. And now I get it. We got to go up a little. You know, mm -hmm. look, I, I, I worked for the local government. I right. get it. You know, that's how I get my pension. That's how I get my, um, how I got my salary and stuff. And I understand that we have to do these things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I remember sitting in those meetings and then there was just, well, listen, we've got this. And there was always this back and forth because I was in administration. And, you know, I would see how this stuff, the, the processes worked. Right. And, you know, they would try to put things off and then they would always have us do budget cuts. And, you know, now... But what I was saying is it feels like it's on purpose because with the, like the higher interest rates and things like that and all these issues with the corporate companies coming in and buying up houses when people can't afford them, it feels like that they're doing all this on purpose to make a renter nation. Yeah, remember they kept saying, okay, you'll own nothing and you'll like it. Right, basically, yeah. And I thought that was a joke, but, but maybe, it's not, I, a, maybe yeah. it's not a joke. No, I mean, it certainly feels that way. I'm not saying that this is some big conspiracy to get things done, but it really just feels like that when you get that letter in the mail and you're like, oh, because I've already gotten the increase for my car payment, uh, yeah. I mean, my car insurance. Now I've got, like, I just, went into the, I just went to the grocery store the other day, and again, things are back up again. And it was just dumbfounding how much money we spent for, you know, a couple packs of groceries. No, we were just talking about car insurance, too. My car insurance went up. I'm like, hey, my vehicle's got older, no accidents, no tickets, right. no nothing. Yeah. You know? And if the insurance companies are saying, yeah, it went up because cars are more expensive now, more exp inflation, it costs more to fix them, blah, 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 you know, every excuse in the book. Right. But there is a breaking point. Right. You, it has to stop somewhere. And then, but then people get it. It's like, what do you do? You know, and we've spoken about this before when you do rent, you know, there's owning and renting. And then right now, rent and own is pretty much the same amount of money outside of having to fix things. But we've seen rent start to come down now in our area here, so. But but it's the tipping the scale a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but the taxes, you know, if we're going to go up, the rents are going to go up too. Exactly. They don't think for a just because the rents came down a little bit, it's because of supply and demand, obviously. But rents came down a little bit in our area. But now that the tax bills are out, when it's time for renewals, don't think that that three percent isn't going to get passed on. Right. You know, or even maybe a percent and a half, depending on the situation. But the, the, the purpose of having that rental is to make money. It's an investment, whether it's a one person investment or, you know, that's renting out one property or it's a corp that's renting out thousands of properties. Here's another conspiracy theory that I'm kind of starting to believe in. OK, you know, some of these cities, you know, like San Francisco and just some places in California and some other places, uh -huh. you know, even Denver and just some other places are going downhill. And it feels like the city government is doing nothing about it. Like they want, you know, like Santa Monica, they want the businesses to move out. They want everybody to move out. They want people just sleeping on the streets. I used to not feel like that, but sometimes now I feel like it. 
Here's the reason why they might want to do it. They get together with a bunch of big corporations, mm -hmm. okay? They drive all the businesses out. The place goes to hell, okay? So now they, they can go in and they can buy these buildings for pennies, pennies on, on the, the dollar. dollar. Right, and then they gentrify the area and turn yeah. it into lux luxuries. And I think... Uh, nobody's really talking about that, but I really, really think that's what's happening right. in some areas. Mm -hmm. Because it makes no sense. It's like, why, as a mayor of a city, mm -hmm. okay, as a mayor of a city, why would you... You're driving down the street, obviously, because you live there. You're the freaking mayor. And you see people living on the street, or you see crime, or you heard this person got stabbed, that person got stabbed, people walking around with whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, drugs all over the place. And then what are you going to do? You're going to go through it. You're going to go to the, you go into your office and be like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> right. You know, it just doesn't make sense. No. I mean, it's so easy. They should buy freaking SimCity. You know that program? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You build a little city, and then if there's crime in a certain area in the program, in the game, yeah. you hire police, and then the crime level goes down. Oh, there's a fire over here, there's a lot of fires. <laughs> we need a fire department, put it over there, and the fire department goes down. No, they don't just let freaking right. crime go crazy. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a really complicated situation. It just feels like everybody says, oh, it's really, really complicated. It's not a Republican thing, it's not a Democrat thing. It's a safety thing. It's a common sense thing. I just think that if people had some freaking common sense out there that's in a political office, things would be so much better. That makes sense. I'll give you an Every example. Okay, New Hampshire. Okay, I'll beat mm -hmm. up on New Hampshire. I used to live there. <laughs> this, my town that I lived in, they wanted a new um, office for a town office. Mm -hmm. So they're like, hey, you know what? We, we need to build this town office. So, so somebody donated the land to them, say, hey, listen, here's some land, it's free. Yep. Okay, so now they want to build 48 feet long by like 36 feet, a square. Okay? Handicap ramp, handicap bathroom, yeah. fire sprinklers, some upgrades. Mm -hmm. So, you know, me being a home inspector and stuff, I'm like, all right, you know, so they're going to go from like three, four hundred thousand. Maybe they're going to go crazy, put art, they're going to put these plants, yeah. and they're going to do all this stuff. Yeah, make it nice and separate offices. So they're like, hey, we need 3.2 million. <laughs> 3.2 million. I was like, are you, are you freaking stupid? You need 3.2 million? It's a square. It's a freaking square, one floor freaking house like a manufactured house right and i know i'm on a rampage but it's okay i just got my tax bill <laughs> pissed me off you know it really really did piss me off but it's just there's a breaking point there is and at some point you know I, you almost feel like the people that are in power they have dis disposable income so you almost feel like they don't, they're so disconnected sometimes from the masses. They don't, because they don't feel that pinch like a lot of people do, you know? And that's the part that's frustrating. They can say it, but do you really notice that milk is $4 plus a gallon? You know what I mean? Do you no. really notice that? No. It's, I, I'm, watch your back, there's a car coming. We couldn't afford to do uh, a hospital ride, I'm sure. Um, no, I, <laughs> for my insurance to kick in, I gotta get hit from a freaking bus. You gotta get and then, it, yeah. And then they have to back up over me, and then my insurance will kick in. Maybe. And I pay thousands of dollars a month for that too. <laughs> right. So, so it's just that you, you feel, at some point you feel like health insurance is up, every insurance is up, every everything is up. What do you do? And then all these people that are in power that are still making a ton of money. Are you that disconnected that you don't understand that people can only work two jobs, three jobs? Like, what do you do? Right. And it looks like we got some seriously heavy, I just got the notification, some seriously heavy rain coming. Might have to go uh, hunker down in the truck. Yeah, so basically that's the storm 
it's heading towards us, but we're gonna stop in here first. National Bakery. National Bakery. So this is Greek pastries. This is the only thing that's gonna calm me down for now. See Greek <laughs> pastries? That's what's gonna calm me down. But anyways, things are getting ridiculous. I don't think anybody could afford anything anymore. Something has to break. People have to speak up. People have to vote, you know, yep. and, and get these people out of freaking office because it's just getting bad. Anyways, that's today's video. Greatly appreciate it. Do me a favor. Check out this video here. I picked it out just for you. And thank you. And do me a favor. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. We'll talk to you in the next one. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.